What does that mean? It means that we are going to be making the March wreath kit of the month. If you have um, already, if you are in the wreath kit of the month subscription group, then you've already gotten your wreath kit because we mailed them all out last week and they should be in your hands by now. So guess what? We're going to make it together. Um, if not, guess what? You have some guidelines and there I am. Yay me. I love it when a plan comes together. All right. Now I can actually read your comments too. Hello. Hello. Good to see you. Happy Tuesday. Um, all right. So before we get started, on the wreath kit of the month, I just have to give you a little caveat that they are sold out. So we um, have enough supplies to do so many and those are sold out. We are working on trying to increase that number for future months, but um, unfortunately and unfortunately, once people subscribe to the wreath kit of the month, they don't unsubscribe. So, um, we don't get spots open up very often in the wreath kit of the month, but I encourage you and Jill's going to put a link down below in the comments. I encourage you to watch um, your email or sign up for the email to join the wait list. If you're watching on YouTube, hello, hello. I will also have Jill, my moderator, put a link to the description in the YouTube video as well on how to join the wait list to get on the wreath kit of the month. So I'm going to show you that in a minute, but before I do, I wanted to pop down here on my computer, on my desk. Joyce, you got yours? Yes, girl. Hey, Debbie. Hello. Hello. So I brought, uh, I've got a few things down here. Thank you, Jill, for um, putting that in the comments. Um, these right here are common things that I will use when I'm making a wreath. So they may, I don't use everything, but they, if you've got these in your supplies, you guys are doing awesome, especially if you're just beginning. So I use my mesh roller. I use my Fiskars shears. These are going, these are seven years old and I've never had them sharpened. I have um, a jewelry hole punch so that if I want to add holes to metal signs, I can do that. I use zip ties. I use zip ties for a lot of things, but mostly for bows. My DAP rapid fuse glue and my um, cable tie mounts. I'll use these co this combination if I'm attaching these to the back of my signs because I don't always like to put holes in my signs. Pipe cleaners, of course. And then my favorite floral wire is this paddle floral wire at 22 gauge. So those are like the common things that I use or need when I'm making the wreath kit of the month. Um, uh, one more thing that's off camera and that is my hot glue. And that's in a pot over here on the side heating up. Are you ready? If you have not seen the wreath kit of the month and you wanna be surprised, Doris, hello, hello. Um, if you want to be surprised, then don't look. So Debbie, you may not want to look at this then if you want to be surprised. Oh, y'all. Okay. Super, super excited. So here's the box. My tissue paper's a little rattled up. I don't know what yours looks like when you got it, but, um, I've been in and out of this box a few times. You'll understand in a few minutes. And so here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Voila. Look. All right. So in this kit, you get four rolls of ribbon, two, two and a half inch ribbon and one, one and a half inch and one seven eighths inch. So all four rolls of ribbon come in this month's wreath kit of the month. Check it out. Also in this wreath kit of the month, you got all of this. You get this fun red, white, and blue, pokey, spirally, festive pick. You get two rolls of the border stripe mesh in red, white, and blue, but look at this month's exclusive sign. So this kit comes with the exclusive sign with American, um, the bald eagle, and with that beautiful flag behind it. And the only place you can get this sign is right here in the wreath kit of the month. So this sign is not available anywhere else. 
So one of the nice perks about being a member is you get something that you know your neighbors are not going to have. So of course you get their frame and let's pull it on out here. What do you guys think? Come hang, yes, Regina, thank you. Hey, Karen, I appreciate you, Miss Regina. You know it, girl. Blanche, hello. I'm so glad you're able to join us today. That's super exciting. And everybody tell Doris, welcome, welcome. She said it's her first time here. First time, yay. I don't know why I'm yelling. I really am yelling and I don't know why. I'm pretty sure the microphone works pretty well. Mm. So guys, friends, um, even if you're watching the replay, I'm super excited about this wreath kit of the month. Uh, so I'm going to go through and we're gonna make this kit together. So to begin with, I'm going to um, add some, my cable timeouts to the back of our 10 inch metal sign. So we make these signs right here at Festive Creations. So it's on that UV coated um, aluminum that resists fading, peeling, cracking. It's very weather resistant. So we're gonna start by adding some cable timeouts to the back and I'm just going to put a little spot to glue. Spot to glue. Excited to work. Oh, girl, you are going to love it. Um, Hardworking mom, Lori Jacobs, she, I give, I sent her one of my wreath kit of the month as well. She did hers already and she, hers turned out amazing. I love her bow. Um, she, she did a beautiful bow with this one. All right. So DAP rapid fuse glue. I'm just going to add some cable timeouts. If you're not sure what those are, you can find them at your local hardware stores, Menards, Home Depot. Um, they're actually electrical cable timeouts. That's what they're called is electrical cable timeouts. But that's what they look like. And then what we will do is we'll add our pipe cleaner into that little hole. Well, Doris, we're so glad you're here. We love to welcome new people. We're not, we're not an ugly community by any means, because if anybody is rude or disrespectful, guess what? They get, <laughs> they get the boot. So we are all just here to be creative and have fun. That's it. And, um, I love to hear where everybody's from. So feel free to let me know where you all are from. Even if you've told me before, it's okay. Sometimes I forget. I know Peggy Forbes is from Jacksonville, Florida, because she's told me enough times. Sometimes it sticks. Sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> but that's okay. I did uh, work a little ahead before I went live, and I've got some of our ribbon tails cut, just basically to help save time right here, um, your precious time, because I know your time is just as valuable as mine. So it'll cut, uh, cut back sunny Florida. Good. I'm so glad it's sunny today. We do have, I live in Illinois and it's also a sunny day. That doesn't happen very often for us, but especially this time of year. All right, there we go. There we go. Now, um, if you did not get the wreath kit of the month, please note that at Festive Creations by Stephanie, we... Put, uh, we create about 12 new wreath kits each month, seasonal. So right now, at, right now you can go to the website and you can find several wreath kits available. Um, so this is a great example um, of a design that you could do if you are working with the same tools, like two rolls of mesh, a round sign and maybe four rolls of ribbon. So it just kind of, it's like a recipe. Think about it like a recipe card. All right, so I'm going to get this prepared now and we're going to start cutting the mesh. Regina, thank you, girl. I appreciate you. I'll slip you that bribe money a little bit later on. How's that sound? <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Regina and has been with Festive Creations I think since the doors opened back in 2017. It's almost seven years anniversary for us. This August will be seven years. Um, next month will be 
seven, no, six years. Next year, next month will be six years that I have an online store. So when I started selling supplies. So um, we've got lots of milestones to celebrate. Judy is in central Illinois. Hey, girl. Thank you, Miss Regina. All right. So in this kit, you uh, received two rolls of this 10 inch by 10 yard mesh on this wreath frame we have 18 twist ties so we need to measure to fill up 18 twist ties and because both of the mesh are the, exactly the same we're going to do 32 inch cuts 32 inches so what i like to do is let me move this out of the way Oh, Judy, bless your heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, Regina, I forgot about that. Yes, ma'am. Gary and I were just talking about that, how he hasn't painted in a couple of years. He needs to get on that. Get on that. So I like to stack both rolls of mesh on top of each other. And we're just going to uh, come all the way down here. And this is my ribbon that you can't see, but it is in the way. And we're going to cut at 32 inches. So I'm going to use my Fiskars um, mesh cutter in 32 inches. We're going to need 18 of these. And because my table is not super, super huge, um, I'm going to throw that on the floor. Um, Barbara, I do not carry the ribbon tail boards, but if you text me, if, if you're on my text message notifications, text me the word rail, R-A-I-L, rail, and that will get you to the shop that sells um, this. And I, they come in different sizes. But if you just text me the word rail, my, ooh, Lord, where is my phone number? Text me at 217-395-5348. Just text me the word rail and I'll send you a link. Maureen. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How are you, my friend? Hello. Hello. So yes, that sign is exclusive to um, those of you that got the wreath kit of the month. And as I mentioned earlier, they are sold out. We have only so many slots of, um, kits available and they are currently sold out and I will tell you we don't get cancellations like once people become members because they're such a great place it's $52 for the wreath kit of the month plus shipping but um the whole wreath kit everything that you see here you get the whole rolls of mesh not mesh you get the whole <laughs> yes you get all rolls of mesh but you get whole rolls of ribbon um, you also get a tutorial with each wreath kit of the month. That's what we're doing now. Oh, Judy, you're going to love it. You're going to love, um, I have another kit. Where'd I set it? It's right here with me. It, because that one's going to be in my next one. I love doing patriotic. Um, it is my red, white, and moo. Red, white, and moo. Got to show it to you when we get done with this. All right. So. You should have some mesh left over. I'm going to stop because I haven't counted yet, but you should have a little bit of mesh left over on your rolls. If you do, just set that aside. Those are great for um, other projects. But, um, let's bring our frame back out here. Actually, let me set it a little more over here. And let's grab some of those 32-inch strips we just cut. And I'm going to place it curl side down. So it's trying to curl under. And I'm going to, actually, no, I lied. I'm going to do a curl side up. And I'm going to kind of curl it in, roll it in a few times on the edge. If you have a clothespin or some kind of clip, clip that edge, turn it around, and roll the other end. What this does is it allows that cut edge, that raw edge, to be tucked away in the center and it reduces your fraying. Then just walk right up the center of that strip of mesh 
and boom, you've made a ruffle. I like to put my ruffles this way. You can put them this way. It just is your own personal preference. I like them where the curl is on the upside, not facing down. Now I'm going to just place that on the outer rim. I always start on the outer rim of my frame when I'm doing the ruffle methods, this woodland ruffle. There we go. Still, uh, girl, I found my niche. Beach-inspired designs. Ooh. Maureen, I'll have to go check you out. I haven't been to your shop forever. Love that. Love that. Um, and that is a huge market. That is, and it, and it is a niche. You know, I don't live anywhere near water. So when I go to places like um, Outer Banks at North Carolina and um, Myrtle Beach and places like that, I'm always in awe. So um, I can see why, because they do, they, they make wonderful, wonderful designs. Yes, Doris, me too, me too. We do have um, a few things at Festive Creations, but I am super excited. Did you see some of our new signs, Maureen? In fact, I think I just filled one of your orders not too long ago. Um, I designed a new sign this year that says, welcome to my beach or welcome to the beach or something. Welcome to my beach house. That's what it says. It's really super cute. And um, I got this morning. I got this ribbon or yeah, it's called ribbon, but it's that window pane in navy blue and it goes super well with those nautical designs. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right. Back to curl, curl, turn it, roll it, roll it, and then walk it up the middle and look at those ruffles. Look at those ruffles. We're just going to add those to our frame all on the outer red edge and then we'll go back and um, do the top edge. That's it, That's this is phase one, 32 inch strips, 18 of them. How's that? All right, so we've established that Doris is living in sunny Florida or it's sunny in Florida right now. What about the rest of you? How, how's your weather today? Because we're in sunny Illinois. We got sunny Florida happening. Anything else? What's the, what's the rest of the world like? Tell me where you're from and what your weather's like. Uh, oh, Diana, you also are having some beautiful weather in central Florida. I love it. Love it. Are you anywhere close to Doris? Yes, just got my order. I bought two of your beach signs, love them. I have to go check out that ribbon. Yes, um, and I do have extra, we put that ribbon, Maureen, in a um, wreath kit. It's my lighthouse wreath kit. We just released it, but I bought extra rolls because I knew that one would be fun. That one would be fun. Nautical all the way, for sure. But I also have that same window pane ribbon in cream and tan too. It's like a natural, I think, um, but cream and natural. I think they kind of, they remind me of like the netting, the fisher fisherman's netting, right? Oh, Deb, now I'm truly jealous right now, girl. Good for you. 78 to me is like the perfect temperature. I don't know why, but it just is. Anybody else feel that way? Beautiful blue sunny North Carolina. Joyce, yay! I'm loving it. And we got sunshine happening everywhere. That's amazing. Sweet beans and applesauce. Um, oh, Janet, sunny in Arizona today too. Judy said, I work for the VA and the veterans, your Toby Keith sign. Oh, yeah, I have one of those right on the other side of my table, Judy. I'll have to show them what you're talking about because I made, um, so I made that wreath kit. Um, we have a wreath kit using that sign and I made my wreath kit 
last week, but I donated it to a local um, fire department and it goes for, um, they raise money every year. I do, I donate something every year and um, it, they, they raise money for their local, it's a volunteer fire department, Blue Mound, Illinois. Blue Mound, Illinois. I did ask him though this year, because usually Gary and I DJ it, but oh, we had a conflict. We were already booked this year. Um, but I was like, get me a picture of the person who wins that wreath. And my wreaths can make some really great money for uh, the fire department. So it's always fun to see how much money they raise to help out. I love that. Pat, it's sunny in New York, and that's awesome. Sunny in Alabama? <laughs> what did you say, Diana? I'm in Winter Haven. Yeah. Gazelle, how are you? Love it. Oh, Kissimmee. Kissimmee, Florida. Doris, you're right outside of uh, Orlando, or... One of our favorite vacation spots, right? I've actually stayed in Kissimmee several times, a condo there and, um, you know, vacationing. It's fun. It's fun. It's fun. Oh, I lost my comments, y'all. Hello, Miss Denise. Happy Tuesday. The boot wreath kiss. Yes. 20 minutes from Disney. Yes, ma'am. Um, let me get my sign. So what they're talking about with the um, boot wreath kit, it has this sign in it. So I did a wreath kit and we do still have some more of those wreath kits available, but this was the feature sign and it will put a boot in your A money money, the American way. Um, she called it a Toby Keith sign in it. What's funny um, ironically enough, we designed and released that sign before Toby passed away, having no idea, you know, no idea, of course, that that tragedy was going to occur. And then, um, it just made it that much more special. Does that, I hope that makes sense. I'm not trying to be mean in any way, but I'm glad we did. I'm glad we released it. And um, people have, that's our best selling sign, patriotic sign to date this year. Definitely our best selling sign. All right, y'all, this is so fun. This border stripe mesh is just perfect for this. And get some more. Ooh. Two rolls, with two rolls of mesh, I cut these at 32 inch lengths and we needed 18 of them. And we're about done with the bottom, the outer rim, and I'm about ready to get started on the top rim. Now on the ribbon tails, I am going to be adding ribbon tails to this kit, um, to this rim. But I'm going to do things a little bit different. And remember, guys, if this is you, if you've got this wreath kit, when you go to design your wreath kit, please feel free to experiment with different techniques. So, um, as I said, Lori Jacobs from Hardworking Mom, she did her wreath kit already. And I love the way she did it. Um, I'm going to do mine just a little bit different. And it's okay to, it's okay to be different. It's, it truly is. You could come up with a whole unique design that no one else even thought of and just really stand out from the rest. And I think that's what really sets us apart from other vendors and wreath makers is being dare, being dare to be different, right? All right, we're starting on the top one. Yes, Judy, I agree. Hey, Betty, happy Tuesday. Also, if you are new to making wreaths, one of the um, things that no one taught me, I had to learn it on my own, and it was a hard lesson, was when you're adding the mesh into the wreath frame, 
you want to push it all the way down as far as it'll go, as snug as it will go right there next to the frame before you tie it off. If you leave a little space in there or a gap in there, it can cause your mesh to shift over time, um, come loose. So again, I like to share those little, I want to say beginner tips. But heck, I've probably been making wreaths for six months before I learned that. So I wouldn't call that a beginner. <laughs> maybe, maybe call me a slow learner. I don't know. Call me, just don't call me late for dinner, right? <laughs> Love it. Oh, y'all, this is so pretty. So pretty. Pretty, pretty. I should have shown you what this looks like um, just when we got the bottom done. So this is just the bottom. This is where I started to add some on the top and the back looks beautiful. I, people always um, are afraid to show the back of their wreath when they're working on it, but I want you to see how neat and beautiful that's coming out. So we're just gonna continue to go right on around. After I take a nice cold drink. Uh, it's supposed to get um, 70 today. Yes. And I'm fine with that. Absolutely fine. Emma goes to walk out this morning and she's got her winter coat on. I'm like, girl, you don't need your winter coat today. No, I'm okay. It's only, she said 34 degrees. I said, no, honey, it's already 43 and it's going to warm up really quickly. So what do you bet that coat will be shed by the time she gets home? I'm going to guess. Oh, Tom. Thank you, Miss Betty. As the weather gets nicer, you know, we all spend more and more time outside, right? And less, less time at the craft table. And I'm right there with you. I'm looking at my yard going, I have sticks to pick up and it's all it's uh the grass has just turned green green overnight it seems like just in the last few days i've noticed how amazingly green our grass has gotten and so i anticipate that lawnmower season is not too far off not too far off but first before that i'd like to I, I like to trim back my bushes and stuff before they start blooming and before, yeah, before the, they start filling out with buds and leaves and get that mess all cleaned up and put away. I have leaves to rake and trimming to do. And this year I have two little children that are going to be able to help. <laughs> they just don't know it yet. They don't know how much fun they're going to have this, this year out in the yard. There's got to be some perks to uh, becoming parents again, right? For those of you that don't know it, my niece, my great niece and nephew uh, live with us now. They're eight and nine years old. They lost their mother on Thanksgiving and um we we had we now have custody of them both so so much for retirement we just kind of pivot um we just have emma and eli in our lives now along with all of our grandkids but uh, i'm trying to plan uh, just a weekend away to st louis and i'm having to borrow my sister's journey because I can only take five people in my car and I need six spots for Emma, Eli, and two of the grandkids. Y'all, that's crazy. I said, I am not getting a minivan. I am not getting a minivan. Betty, that is a 15 inch frame. So um, if you got the wreath kit of the month, this is the frame that came in the wreath kit of the month. Um, 15 inch frames are also the common one that I sell on my website. And the 15 inch frames have 18 twist ties. So this one has 18 ties and 
we are filling that with 32 inch strips. We use two rolls of mesh for this, 32 inch strips. Let's see, how many more? I have one. I think just one more, which sounds, oops, sounds about right. All right, good deal. Um, Karen, we actually, so tomorrow, is tomorrow Wednesday, yeah. Tomorrow we meet with the guardian at Lightem and um, just Emma and Eli, Gary and I, Gary doesn't have to go to that one. And so I'm assuming that the guardian at Lightem will be asking the kids questions about, you know, living with Aunt Stephanie and Uncle Gary. I, I don't know what to expect, but that would be what I would assume. And then the actual guardianship hearing um, should be final. Well, it's set for Monday and everything should go through on Monday. So we are that close, that close. And then I, with social security on Thursday, um, to determine whether or not their mom even worked enough to pay enough into social security for them to receive a benefit. So it's coming together. It's nearing the end of my journey trying to get all of that done but thank you so much for asking <laughs> all right friends let's look at this look at how awesome this is this is a 15 inch wreath frame we added 32 inch strips and look at how full that is truly truly full and definitely some patriotic patriotism going on there right so um let's so what I did to help save some time is I went ahead and I cut some ribbon strips, some ribbon tails, and I cut this two and a half inch. It's actually, I think it's called a cranberry, but it's that dark red. And I cut 18 of these I um, in 12 inch strips, 12 inch. Then I cut 10 of these in 12 inch strips. So I have 18 of the dark red and I have 12 of these. I'm gonna show you why right now. You use the 18 inch, gotcha, yep. Absolutely, everybody I think has their preference and I don't, there's nothing wrong with either there's no right or wrong. It is truly what we enjoy working with or more so what our customers like, right? All right. So for this, I'm going to stack both of them right on top of each other, fold it in half and find that middle point and just pinch it and pleat it right there in the middle. And I'm going to add those to the outer rim, the lower section of our wreath kit or our uh, wreath frame. So there is the first set of ribbon tails. I'm going to repeat this all the way around the bottom and there's 10 twist ties on the bottom. So what that means is that the bottom is going to get two of both of these ribbon. We're gonna do something a little bit different on the top row. Thank you, Miss Betty. So Karen, I know, I know I've probably told you, but you know, we, we got the kids, uh, both new bicycles and, um, when, when they came to live with us, neither one of them knew how to ride a bicycle. They're eight and nine years old. And so they've both learned how Eli just learned a few weeks ago. And so they both got new bicycles. Somebody said, aren't you going to wait for Easter? And I'm like, heck no. They're ready to roll now, so let's let them roll. And they love to ride. Right now, they can only ride in the driveway, um, but that's okay because I need them to be a little more steady before I can get them out past the driveway, and I'm okay with that. Um, they are. Emma has just blossomed so much. So Emma was behind academically, and she still is behind especially in her reading, but we are getting her caught up quickly. It's amazing how much progress we've had with her and seen with her between us. We have 
we have her, we send her to a special tutor outside of school. Plus school is giving her extra help. And, um, she's, she's just blooming, just blooming. You can just watch the growth and the winds. I was talking to the athletic director today at the school and bragging on Emma and all of her wins. She is just doing amazing. Eli, um, Eli is, is starting to have a little acting out and I feel like that's due to, um, maybe his sister is getting more attention right now. And so, you know, noticing that I'm going to be transitioning some things to try and get Eli his own special recognition. And because he's making growth too, it's just, it's different type of growth. And we're making such a big deal about Emma. I think that we're ignoring Eli's successes. So I have to consciously make a change on that. Look, listen to me being an all parent and everything psychological here. Shelly, thank you, girl. Denise, I, I'm i just, you know, I was telling the school today um, that, or, you know, the athletic director, Daniel, Mr. Fleming and I, you know, we were talking about things and I, I do uh, fundraisers for the school and um, I had to step back around the holidays because of everything with the kids, you know, their mom passing away and them moving in and us trying to change our entire lifestyle to, um, meet all the needs. And I, he was, he was so understanding and, you know, I had to apologize cause I thoroughly intended to be at more events, high, you know, sports events to try and do some more fundraising for the school. And it just, the support from everyone and that just makes it that much easier. It's not just us, trust me. We get a lot of support from you, um, from you all. And I, I mean emotional and other support. Jackie McDaniels, bless her heart if you're watching the replay. She sent them um, notebooks. They both took them to school with them today, so I can't show you. I, I took a picture of the notebooks in with the kids, too. Um, but um, she made them, like, book covers for, um, like, school notebooks, writing paper. And uh, Eli's was a dinosaur. And Emma's is a unicorn and she was just hugging it and she was absolutely loving it. So thank you, Jackie. If you're watching the replay, I'll, I'll try and catch you on hopefully in person so that I can thank you in person because they truly loved it. All right. So guys look at, um, so I'm, I'm holding off on doing another ribbon on top because what I want to do is that solid color so that this doesn't have a lot of distraction behind it. Um, so I am only doing one ribbon tail on top in that dark red. So let's do that first and let's see what this looks like before we add anything else to it, okay? But we've got the two ribbon tails on the bottom. We've got so much fun going on here. Absolutely love this. Betty, these are two and a half inch ribbons and they're cut at 12 inches, 12 inch ribbon tails. Oh, that was needed. My mouth was dry. Okay. And I, um, for those of you that did not get in on the wreath kit of the month. So this is the exclusive wreath kit of the month. And you want to be notified if we have any openings, be sure to use that link down below in the, or pinned there in the comments. And we'll notify you if there are any openings available for, for April. Um, we only will be able to, yeah, open up what, whoever, if, if anyone's cancels and that's the thing is when people join the wreath kit of the month, they, they typically don't cancel. So, um, 
you might be on the wait list for a while. If you see any openings, grab them because it would be very few and far between. All right, last one around the top. And then let's talk about, now don't forget that this kit also comes with our patriotic balls here. And these are fun. Um, look at that. Look at how fun and unique. I like different. So we're going to be using these also to add some additional texture and fun to our design. So I'm going to, um, it's paper wrapped. So I'm just gonna kind of cut those at some longer lengths. And if I need them shorter, I can go shorter. There we go. All right, look at how fun those are. Definitely gonna add some texture, right? All right, so again, I wanted to uh, keep the background not too crazy. I liked having that solid red so the, the sign kind of pops off of that. So let's leave our sign right there for a minute and let's make a bow, a bow. Let's set him aside and get our easy bow maker out. I did get some more of these back in stock. So if you were one of those asking about the easy bow maker, those are back in stock. Just, um, yeah, I think uh, we put them under new arrivals because they're back in stock. Okay, let's start out with, I wanna do, yeah, I'm gonna do this ribbon on the bottom. And let's make some tails. So let's do about a 15 inch ribbon tail. I don't need this here. And we're going to do three loops on each side. One, one, two, two, three. So three loops on each side. Then we'll bring this out. Hang on a second, let me get him out of my way. Bring this out and make it as long as our first ribbon tail. Anybody see my scissors? There they are. All right. Now with my wreath kits, you get the full roll of ribbon. I really, really stress that it's um, a great way to do an upsell. If you make an extra bow out of your ribbon, and I don't mean just a bow, you can sometimes make an extra two, even three bows, depending on what size of your bows you make, then you can do an upsell and say, hey, buy the wreath at this price and get the matching bow for this price, right? So don't be afraid to utilize that ribbon for an upsell. All right, so again, I'm going to cut about a 15 inch ribbon tail and we're gonna put that in there. We're going to do two of these on each side and they're going to be about the same length as the one before, about six inches. One, two, one, two, there we go. Now, before we go forward, guess what? It's okay to add into your design right here. So if I add this right in here, it now becomes a part of my bow. Look at that. So I'm going to add him in there. Let me find my next ribbon. Oh, it's still over here. There we go. Let me scoot this guy over. Now we're going to add that one and a half inch Argyle Stars and Stripes. 
And uh, for this one, I'm going to make the ribbon tail just a little bit shorter, about 13 inches. And I'm going to put that right on top of that um, embellishment. We're going to do three again on each side. But this time I'm going to come in just a smidge. I want to be able to see that red behind it. So I'm going to do three loops on each side at about four inches. And then to top this all off, watch this. We're going to take that seven eighths inch. And we're actually going to give it some extra ribbon tails. So I'm going to cut this some extra tails. Press that down right there. Then I'm going to bring it in again, a little bit shorter tail, and we're going to, going to do three loops. One, two, and one more loop. That's it. Three odd number of loops. Bring it down, catch your ribbon tail, and voila! Look at uh, the beginning of our bow. This one, it definitely, when I use... When I add things to the bow, especially like this, that's when I really like to use that zip tie. You're never late in my house, Pat. <laughs> How much are the monthly kits? Cheryl, they're $52 for the kit. All right, so I'm gonna slide that zip tie. Let me try to go this way. I'm gonna slide that zip tie right underneath here, underneath all of my ribbon. And of course, this little embellishment is in there too. And I'm going to start tightening it up before I lift it off. And I like to use, um, I like to use that 22 gauge floral wire. So I'm going to cut a piece of that off. And let me make sure this guy's right where I want him to be. Perfect. Now I can kind of pull that right off of there. And as I kind of tighten that up, I'm going to turn that over and I'm going to slide that piece of wire right into here before I tighten it completely down because this is what we're going to use to attach it. Where's the other end? There it is. To our wreath. Bring that twist tie or that zip tie around to the back. And tighten away. Cut that off, the excess zip tie. And now we can start shaping our bow. Sometimes I like to wait until the bow is actually on the wreath itself and either one works fine, whatever works best for you. Um, but let's go ahead and attach this so we can see where we want to lay our ribbon at. Pat, right here, um, you can watch the entire replay right here on Facebook. I will also be posting this in my, um, on my, it's actually on YouTube right now too, my YouTube channel at Festive Creations by Stephanie. And then it will also go on to my blog, festivecreationsblog.com. So you can't miss it. Just, just go Festive Creations by Stephanie. You got it. You got it. That's right. Better than not. Absolutely. Okay, let me 
feed that wire through my mesh, get it around. Oh, hello. I don't have my frame attached yet or my wreath sign attached yet. Hello. Forgot. I normally attach it. So Pat, this is the wreath kit of the month. These are sold out. Um, so if you want to get on the wait list for next month's wreath kit of the month, we've included a link down uh, pinned to the comments there. You're more than welcome to join that. Or you can go to, I'm covering it up over here. You can go to my website because I keep about 12 uh, varieties of wreath kits available online and um, some of them sell out faster than others but you can go to my website and um, see what wreath kits we have available right now okay there we go y'all oh, this is so fun I might have to tighten up this bow a little bit more there's that I'm trying to see if you guys can see that bow. Hopefully you can see the bow. You're very welcome, Pat. Not a problem. All right. So let me curl this up a little bit. Oh, you can't see that happening. Hang on. I'm just kind of going down here at the end of my 7 8 inch and curling it in. Curl, curl, curl. Roll it up, roll it up. And I kind of pinch on the wire as I'm doing it. And then as we get towards the top, We'll reach inside of there. Where is it? Where is the, where's the end? There it is. Come back. Come back. And we're just going to unravel that. So I have these two different links. Sometimes you can just use an ink pen or uh, I use, I've used the end of a paint brush. Um, I kind of like the wider, uh, using my finger, you get a wider curl rather than a really tight curl. That one didn't uncurl like I planned on it, but it looks beautiful anyway. All right, let's attach this guy. Never too late, right? Never too late. Shelly, thank you. We're getting there. We're very, very near the end because we still have some more of these fun um, attachments to add. So you get that pick with it too. We added one to the to the bow already. Hang on, let me get it wiggled through here. Get my sign attached. There we go. Okay, I found a way. Show me the way. Y'all, I haven't even started on my taxes yet. Am I alone? Am I not the, am I the only one? I dread them. Dread them. Actually, not really. It's just a matter of prioritizing and making the time to sit down and do it.
and you people that are wizards with accounting, I, I automatically have an immediate dislike for you because I'm so jealous. Um, that's my biggest struggle is I don't understand the accounting when I go to add things to my QuickBooks and my um, accounting software that just, I, I'm trying to balance my books and it won't balance and I can't figure it out. That's what's frustrating. All right, let me, see this is why I like to do this before I um, add my bow because I like to flip it over and tighten this down. Denise, you have it in your pet, I'm not alone. That's good, I'm not feeling so bad. I always have to pay because um, being being the size of business that I am, you know, we, we bring in um, a little under seven figures every year, so, I have to pay um, estimated, you know, say a tax, income tax throughout the year. So, of course, I've already made my January payment. My next payment will be due in April, and that will be based on my income tax return. Yay. Yay. I'm all about it, though. I'm all about it. It's just a matter of prioritizing. Oh, my gosh, y'all. Look at this. All right, so for this... Kim, I just, okay, girl, maybe you can help a sister out because here's what's happening is I use QuickBooks online and um, I think what I'm doing is I'm categorizing things wrong. And so it's showing, it's showing my bank account, like let's just use my checking account, for example, is negative $19,000 when there's really a positive number, you know, or whatever. And so it's balancing that. And so I think what's happening is I'm putting the transactions in the wrong category and it's making it look like it's a negative when it really should be. an I don't know. I don't know. I, I wish to, uh, look, I had to take accounting for my, um, Nursing Home Administrator's License, right? So that's the required course. Oh, man, I had to hire a tutor and all just to understand this check and balance system, like add a journal entry, put a debit and a credit. Why am I doing a debit and a credit? Why don't I just do a debit or a credit? Why does it have to be both? I don't understand it. I still don't understand it. Okay, there's my soapbox for the day. Okay. Um. Oh, my holiness. That is so fun. All right, but... Don't forget, we have more of these. This is not, not even done yet. So I'm going to take and I'm um, going to cut these down just a little bit, I believe. And yeah. But no, Vicky, I know, right? <laughs> no, weird. I use quick and I love how it connects to the bank and imports everything. It does. Well, and mine's like that. It imports everything but I have to tell it where to go. So like I will transfer money from my PayPal account to my checking account or my checking to my, and I, I know that I'm doing something wrong when I go to accept those transactions. So I'm like, do I do it as a bank transfer? Do I do it a transfer or does it, um, is it a deposit? It, see, do you see where I'm going here? From PayPal to checking, it shows up as a transfer, but I think it should be a deposit and yada, yada, yada. Oh, Lord, have mercy. All right, I'm going to add some glue over here on the bottom of one of our fun little twigs. And we're going to go right underneath here and add our little celebrate, celebratory embellishment right into our wreath. And I'm using a twist tie to help hold it on. How stinking fun is this? And we're going to do another one. I wonder, let me look at it this way. If I want to do one there. I like it right here. I think that's where it's going to go. Yeah, Quicken and, and QuickBooks are the same, right? I believe. Ugh. 
I know I've used Quicken before in the past, but I've had small businesses my whole entire life. Ooh. But it's never been this complex because I've never had different sources. You know, so I have money coming from my Stripe account, my PayPal account, my Square account. I have money coming in from different areas. And so I think that's what throws me off. Oh, my holy grail. Hang on, hang on. Where is, where'd you go? Come back. There's the other side to that tail. Oh, heck no. Heck yes, I should say. Heck yes. Let's see what this looks like. Let's bring it on up. Bring it on up. This guy goes up there. Can you guys see it? Can you guys? Oh, heck yes. What do you guys think? I love this wreath kit of the month. Absolutely love it. I'm going to bring that bow. Where's my top of my bow? Back just a smidge. So it's not facing the floor. It's more facing me. And I just need to tighten that up just a smidge. <laughs> Denise, right? <laughs> she says she thinks about the taxes and gets an immediate headache. This, I told you, this is by far one of my favorite kits that we've done. Super fun to do it. But um, I don't know if you're still on. We were talking earlier. It was Judy McDonald. Are you still on, Judy? I'll show you the next wreath kit I'm going to be doing because it's also patriotic. Doris, you're very, very welcome. So um, we just released this kit. It's one of our new ones. Hang on a second. Let me finish this. Yes, yes, yes. And you go back there. Go back. Go back. Okay, let's set this up here. Oh, y'all, that is so amazing. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So the next wreath kit that I want to do is going to be uh, this one. So the next time you see me live, um, and I'm not doing a live sale, I'm going to be doing this one. So it includes red, white, and moo. Oh, here, let's come down here. Red, white, and moo. It includes both rolls of mesh right there. And the red wreath frame. Here, this is this looks better. Red, white, and new. Both rolls of mesh. And all four rolls of this ribbon. Look at how fun that is. And this is a red, white, or red and blue, red, royal blue, and navy blue. And this one's got royal blue and navy blue as well. So it brings out the navy and the royal blue in the sign. But isn't that fun? Um, Shelly, uh, if I were an accountant, I would probably be um, not talking to you right now because today's busy season, or it's busy season. I have no idea. Look, that's why I hire an accountant too, right? Um, Oh, thank you, ladies. I appreciate it. I'm going to try to make one, too. It's so beautiful. Thank you, Betty. Joyce, I can't wait to see yours. I can't. Um, by the way, if you guys get these in your wreath kits, not you won't get them in the wreath kit of the month. This is your recipe card. So it just basically tells you, hey, did you receive two rolls of mesh, a square sign, three rolls of ribbon in a frame? Then go watch that video. That's all it is, and then that will give you guidelines. Um, it, it's probably not going to be the same ribbon and mesh and sign that you purchase, but the style and the technique, it's a recipe, um, will be the same. 
Guys, thanks for hanging out. I really appreciate all of you guys that have gotten your wreath kit of the month. Can't wait to see what you've done with it. And don't forget to tag me in it or actually tag it hashtag wreath kit of the month. And that way I can go find it. Have a great day. Have your great rest of your Tuesday. And I'll see you next time. Bye.